Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer McKenzie. If you're new, hello. And if you're not, like I said, welcome back. Um, before we get this video started, don't forget to follow my social media. Everything's gonna be in the description below. Let's get this video started. Okay, so I was inspired to do this video by um, a YouTuber. Her name is Life of Myri. And I just watched the video she posted. It was Black Girl Clothes or something like that. And like throughout the whole video, like you just see me like, yes, 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 yes. So I'm just like, all right. I gotta make one of these because she hit it on the head and I still have more I need to say. So I'm here to present to you guys codes that Generation Z should follow. Okay, hear me out. We can't try and change our predecessors, our elders, whoever came before us, but we can change what we do. And I think we should leave a couple things in the past and I will get into that throughout this video. Also, I feel like there's a change that needs to come and it needs to come with this generation because what have we been doing so far? Hmm. Generation Z, you're just, I'm just, like before I was like, I was born in the wrong generation, like the music, the culture, but we, I'm just like, nah, that's not it. The 2020 just proved to me, okay, yeah, you're in the right place. You're definitely in the right place. Okay, so these are just my codes and I think it would really be nice if other people took it into consideration. Okay, so first thing, why can't we go back to referring each other as brothers and sisters? Like, yeah, that brother over there, like that just sounds so much cleaner, so much classier, you feel me? To get back to you guys on this first code, I was talking about the use of the n-word, but I didn't properly explain what I wanted to explain. However, I did touch on how idiotic it is to justify using it even though you're not black. No, no, don't even, just stop. So, next one. We need to stop being jealous of one another. So, I see it a lot with reality. I don't watch reality shows, but they come up on my news feed and my Instagram explore page a lot. So, I'm just like, okay. I always see, like... In a lot of reality shows, a woman gets upset when another woman is, I guess, thriving in some aspect or some part of her life. And I just don't understand that because, listen to me, the energy you put out is the energy you will receive. So when someone has a breakthrough or when someone ha goes through something epic, you should be happy for that. See, even if you're not happy, I'm proud of your success and I can't wait for it to happen to me. That's just little, the least you can say. Because if you go out and say, oh well, she didn't deserve it. Oh well, they're not fit for that job. Then your success is just not gonna be as powerful because you're just putting out this negative energy. You wanna be miserable? I don't wanna be miserable. So anytime any of my friends, family, or just any, I just see anybody succeed, I'm like, that's a blessing right there. You did that. I'm so proud of you. All that stuff. Like, I just don't understand how we have to waste time and be jealous. And it's so easy to be so positive. And it's just like a burden to be negative. So why do you, don't you just uplift that person? Here's what I believe. If one black girl wins, we're all winning. That's just the way I think about it. Like, I just feel like we shouldn't diminish each other for our achievement. And if you really don't like that person's achievement, don't say anything at all. Because I'd rather you reserve your negative energy and just let the world be how it is without it, okay? Just, it's just not necessary. Third thing, third thing, third thing speak up okay don't be afraid to become civically engaged civic engagement is when you're involved in your community whether it be politically or just you're a part of action organi organizations like sorry so fly like feeding the, the homeless or feeding the unfortunate or giving out clothes and um volunteering and just speaking up and raising money for low-income neighborhoods or income causes, like stuff like that. If you really want to know what civic engagement is, don't ask me. Please search it up because I'm still learning. So yeah, speak up. Like if you see, like something is truly bothering you, don't let it sit there and fester inside of you. Say something or try to remove yourself from the situation. Listen to me. We're Malcolm's kids. Let me stop. Because you can't let all that just weigh you down you need to express yourself i'm all about expressing yourself in whatever way you see fit but just be mindful of those around you and mindful of what you say and how you do it okay if someone makes a joke and you truly don't like the joke or it doesn't sit right with you say something so don't care if you're gonna do this this and that if you feel it's right say something or if you don't know if it's right or wrong you just don't feel right with it say how you feel like i don't understand with this whole thing where we have to be right all the time we don't have to be right all the time just be prepared to learn accept fault and all that stuff because we're, we shouldn't be holding back anything 
if you don't like the way someone treats you if you don't like the way you're talked to by certain people fix that so yeah go ahead and speak up for yourself speak up for others you see somebody getting harassed in a store say something put yourself in that situation like there's a time where you can mind your business but there's a time where you need to step up your moral compass points you in that direction and you need to be there you see a homeless person or an unfortunate person getting treated poorly by other people say something you were given that voice for a reason and not a lot of people don't have that voice and that's gonna be very selfish of you not to use that i'm telling you okay, whether it's your mother your father your uncle your friend your best friend you need to say what's on your mind because how are we gonna move forward when everything's silent Go about the world in an honest way. That's what, I, that's what I think everyone should do. Next thing, be aware of your privilege. I just don't think that everyone has the luxuries we think we don't have. Like, for example, I'm able to take the bus every day, go to school, do what I gotta do, get all my textbooks, have a bag to put it in, spend time with my friends, walk home, get something to eat, go do my homework, go to bed nice and comfy. Well, to me, that's my privilege. I, I have the privilege of having an education, transportation, a home. Like, a lot of people don't have that. So, when you're talking to people, you just have to be aware of who you are and what you're capable of. As a American citizen, I am allowed to do certain things that non-American citizens can't do. And it's important to advocate for those that are being discriminated against next thing <laughs> let's abolish colorism as, as well as homophobia racism is phobia all that and I also forgot to say um, texturism and futurism <laughs> they gotta go to <laughs> they gotta go not in my generation no 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 why are people being bashed for their coily hair why are they being called nappy headed, dirty headed, not to edit, like, you know. And for those people that be like, don't bring home a nappy headed black girl. Then the same mothers that be nappy. No, I don't I'm iffy about this one but to me I wouldn't call somebody nappy headed first of all I don't use that term much I'm only using it in this context I usually just say coily headed or tight tightly coiled or like some term like that it's very 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 curly hair if that's how you want to say it it's natural hair same thing with featureism oh yeah her lips are too big oh yeah her nose is too small her face is disproportionate you're criticizing nature I don't think that's good man uh, I, think, I think you gotta work on that. Why are we so concerned with things that don't look like us or things that are not normal to what our, what we expect? Because what our expectations are are not always going to be achieved. So that's just, that just sounds like a you problem. Like there's something in there you just got to fix. We need to abolish colorism ASAP. No Rocky because this is just not cute. The whole light skin versus dark skin thing. When I saw that challenge just starting to just come back up on my feet, I was like, wait, are we still in 20? something i thought it was 2020 i didn't know this was years ago wow a blast from the past i wasn't very happy because i thought we were just moving past it at this point but no 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 we're just getting started and i still see comments like oh yeah i would never want to be that dark they're just mad because you're not light-skinned like First of all, colorism is a plague in the black community. Light skin doesn't equal mixed. My sister is light skin and we have the same parents. Father is dark skin, my mother is brown skin. Same exact parents, but my sister just came out light skin. So yeah, I just don't think any more black or any less black based on the color of your skin. It's just so disgusting how the privilege that comes with being light skin. Why are we basing someone's beauty, their intelligence, their whatever on the color, their, the, the shade, the shade of their skin. And when you hear people talk about the mistreatment they receive based on the color of their skin, don't dismiss them or don't like make them feel bad about it. Like don't say, oh, well I never experienced that. Or well, that doesn't happen where I'm from. Or that is not, that never happens to me. Okay great for you but it happened to me now let's talk about that when a dark-skinned woman is talking about how she's treated as a dark-skinned woman she's often said oh you're just ugly it's not your skin what like one time i saw this girl she was doing cosplay and she dressed up as somebody and like in the comments oh her, this character isn't an n-word um her skin is too dark she has a wig like relax oh my god yes you're a black woman yes you are black and you do face discrimination but your privilege is where your skin your your skin tone lies 
and I just think everyone should recognize that. Like the yo, the way I hear these dudes talk at my school about the girls, like I'll never take that black roach. Like, oh my God, you're so cute for disrespecting someone based on the color of their skin. <laughs> and it be the dark skin guys that just bash the dark skinned girls like what's what's up with that are you okay you know you're just bashing your mother right because you had to get the darkness from somewhere whether it be your grandmother on your father's side of you or your mother like come on now. gotta use this so ignorant okay next one <sighs> i need to get this one off my chest we need to stop associating designer with looking good stop it right now because someone's gonna look good based off of them having on gucci louis prada all at once like no they could look like stupid on the stick but just because it's designer oh yeah they they fresh they clean don't be sleeping on the thrift stores don't be sleeping on burlington don't be sleeping on what's that store called ross dress for less so many of the like streetwear people that i follow on instagram they don't wear designer and they look good i'm not saying if you look you wear designer like you don't look good you're just getting rep for the um designer um because like People that just simply get that Gucci belt just to wear all the time and it doesn't even go with their outfits, you're just like, correlation? Where is it? <laughs> so yeah, just stop associating these name brand clothes, Nike, Puma, like these top name brand clothes with good looks. It, it doesn't come from that. Like someone could have a whole thrift outfit and they'll look great. But just because it's not a name brand place or name brand item, they're just like, oh, mm. They're saving money and looking good. You're spending money and looking like trash. How are you mad at them? There's pe there's so many people that like to look rich rather than be rich. Stay humble, not bumble, okay? We need to start saving up our money and, and stop shaming people for not having name brand stuff. And don't say, oh, just say you're broke. That's just my opinion. And I feel like we should just leave that in the past. Another, it is okay to break American tradition and not move out at the age of 18 and not move out by the time you finish college and not move out until you're ready because I'm just tired of the nonsense. Like, I understand we have goals, right? But if the goals do not fit your life, like what, what you're doing right now and how you're gonna build up to it, then what's the point? This is what I'm trying to say. Let's say you're me, 16. I have this big idea. I'm gonna move out at 18, have my car by the time I'm 17, go to college, have a job, have a salary job, make bread, have this nice house by the time I'm whatever age. Okay, great. Is, am I moving in that direction to get it? Or why do I really want that house at 18? Why do I really want that other than that? Because in America, we're pushed upon this idea that at 18, you're independent. At 18, like, it's okay to still be dependent or codependent on your parents. It's still okay to be independent. I'm saying that everyone wants to do the one way path high school, graduate, move out, college, apartment, house, family, all that stuff. It's not a one way lifestyle at all. It's okay to still be living with your parents at the age of 26, 27, whatever. As long as you're paying whatever you need to be paying, I feel like we don't need to care about someone's living situation if we're not paying their bills. If you see a YouTuber and you're bashing them, oh yeah, they still live in their parents' house. Are you paying their bills? Are you buying them food? Are you doing this and this for them? Like, why do you care so much for someone that is of age or not of age doing something else that you're not providing for them? I don't, I think it's like we're in a rush to move out and have that lifestyle everyone's always talking about. Because in other countries, like, people don't even move out until they're married, like, until they're engaged or something. That's when they move out of their parents' house. Everything's just not how you see it in the movies. What else? What else? What else? Up. Like if the person doesn't want to go to college, they'd rather just go straight to the job. I don't see a problem. It's their life. It's their path. It's what they want to do. And if you're not there to provide for them or support them, then I honestly think your opinion does not matter and you shouldn't bash them for their decisions. You're not important. At this point, you're not important. Next thing. It's okay to be normal and it's okay to be weird and it's okay to be different. My body different. You know that song? Yeah. Work whatever job you want. Be a diver. Be whatever you feel that you need to be. Like, don't look for other people for clarification because those people don't have your best interest in mind. They just have their own best interest and their personal 
preference on their mind so what you have to say and do just doesn't really matter to them it's just what they want so yeah i'm gonna just collect my other thoughts this is the end of the video i have more but i just have to structure them correctly in my brain before i film because we're gonna be sitting here forever if you guys like this video please like comment subscribe i always say like comment subscribe but it's like you guys just don't hear me take care of yourself mentally physically emotionally just take care of yourself all right i don't want to see nobody i don't want to see anybody watching this video out here struggling man come on Come on, has the lovey's the baby.